Formative assessment is assessment for learning. It's used at the beginning of an instruction period and during the process of instruction as teachers check for student understanding and to monitor student learning. Formative assessments seek to check student understanding and determine how students are progressing in relation to a learning goal. Feedback from formative assessments can help students identify their strengths and weaknesses and target areas that need work. Formative assessment not only provides feedback on how students are progressing, but can also be used by teachers to inform their teaching and the design of future instruction. Feedback from formative assessments can help teachers recognise where students are struggling so that they can address problems. Ongoing formative assessments are given or undertaken throughout the learning process. They can be more explicit, such as a test or a specific task to measure knowledge or skills, or could be less obvious to the learner, such as information gathered through teacher observations or conversations with students as they undertake learning activities. In digital technologies, there are some great opportunities to link formative assessments, and in particular for the creation of digital solutions, as being part of the student learning experience. Testing, evaluations and feedback are an essential part of core digital technology skills and processes. For example, in design thinking, iterative designs and computational thinking, testing and evaluating ideas or solutions are a critical part of the process. Can you imagine the production of an autonomous driving vehicle that hasn't undergone rigorous evaluations and testing? Can you imagine the design of assistive technologies that haven't had some form of user feedback? Building students' skills in being able to provide, receive and act on feedback is essential for their progress in digital technologies. Formative assessments also include assessment as learning, where students reflect on and monitor their own progress. Integrating formative assessments during the various stages of designing and developing digital solutions can support students in terms of identifying how they can improve, as well as developing their own skills in evaluating solutions and providing feedback. These could be provided through opportunities such as self and peer assessment. Example of formative assessments could include things such as peer and self evaluations, where students provide feedback on an initial project design or code. Another example could be tasks in which students encounter a very similar problem, but within a new context to test their ability to apply and transfer learned skills and knowledge, such as navigating a robot to solve a new problem. Another example could be digital or paper-based formative quizzes or tests in which students' knowledge of digital technologies content is reviewed. Perhaps classroom observations of students performing particular activities that meet the achievement standards. For example, observing students demonstrating that they can engage effectively in teamwork, follow and design algorithms to solve problems, or their ability to collect and sort data. Digital portfolios could involve students documenting their work and progress throughout a unit to be monitored by the teacher. This could include design documents, student reflections on projects or artefacts such as stories, images and drawings. Another technique are think alouds or student interviews in which teachers engage students in conversation to determine their understanding of content knowledge or their problem solving processes in a learning activity. This could be undertaken as they uh, learn about digital data or learn to count in binary or their implementation of solutions using a particular programming language. These are but a few examples. The Digital Technologies Hub has a growing selection of formative assessment tasks, tools and instruments for you to try or adapt for your classroom.